lives. I'm going to tell you that he was probably the most positive, happy-go-lucky, friendly human being I've ever been. Dean's only fear was a life unlived, but even in just a short 20 years, he not only seized every moment and lived his life to the fullest, but inspired others. I can't express what he means to me. What he taught me. He taught me to love life. He taught me to do the little things, enjoy the little things, make the little things matter more. What he loved most is he, he would play with airplanes. That love of airplanes was very much a part of his, his very young days. When he started playing soccer, would point up at the sky in the middle of the game and say, WestJet! <laughs> He always had a sense of humor. He brightened the room unintentionally or intentionally. He just looked at the world differently. There's a twinkle in his eye, a playfulness. He loved to tease. And it was always with love and with kindness. He got this GoPro, he ran with it. He filmed jumping into the water because he wanted to see what the bubbles looked like. On his sailboat because he wanted to see what the wake looked like. I don't know if it was about filming him or documenting him or so as much as it was about looking at the world around him maybe. My name is Zane. I, I uh, love the Winnipeg Jets. As you can see, go Jets, go. Zane loved the Winnipeg Jets. They were new, so they were kind of an underdog, and he liked that. He had some family in Winnipeg, and he really liked the airplane logo. <laughs> so he wanted to cheer for an underdog. There wasn't a bunch of other people yes. who were wearing Jets jerseys. We're just running around downtown Calgary because hockey is everything. Let's go, baby. <laughs> From a young age, Zane was prepared to walk his own walk. Zane was authentic. He was a nice kid. He was nice to other kids. There were lots of nice kids, but that was Zane's way. Zane was kind. Just wasn't like him to be unkind. It's something that just was in him from day one, never wavered, and grew and blossomed as time went on, the way he shared that kindness. And as a parent, couldn't be more proud. He was a person I felt like I could always talk to, and he would always listen, and he always seemed to care. I think showed all of us, kindness matters, and people know this. I mean, Zane meant that. He was a steady guy and an amazing friend who would, was always there, no matter what. Zane was somebody that I trusted with my life. Zane meant a lot. I feel blessed to have been so close to Zane. Somehow he became everybody's best friend, and it's not, like, I'm not saying that in a trite way. He actually did become everybody's best friend. People keep telling me that they were like a brother to him, like he was their best friend. What he gave, he received back. You really taught me how to be a better person. I can't thank him enough. Thank you, Zane, for being such a genuine friend. Thank you for bringing the best out in people. And you will forever be an inspiration to me. He made me the person I am today. He encouraged me to be better. Zane was just a really good person and a really good friend. And I just wanted to tell him thank you. But every summer we went on these adventures. Sometimes it was hiking. Sometimes it was uh, paddling. He was really excited about seeing what like our earth had to offer. I think he jumped into every glacier lake because it was another thing to conquer, like just like bagging another peak. <laughs> Realized that he was capable. Do hard things and he learned that the harder he worked, the better he got and he learned that he could still have fun. And he could have lots of fun doing hard things. <laughs> learned that if he opened himself up and started a conversation, that you never knew what he was gonna learn or who he was gonna meet. He told me that the month of November was boring. He decided he was gonna ride a thousand kilometers in November. Yeah, he decided to set himself a goal. I think he always set himself a goal. Oh my God, that was so much. I hope you know how much you positively impacted my life 
and the lives of so many other people. Taught me was to enjoy every moment, no matter how big or small. He meant more to me than he ever knew and taught me so many things the list could go on forever. Like how to do a full Costco shop in 12 minutes or that 200 lunges was the perfect warm up. Is that nothing else matters aside from your personal best. His energy and joy were contagious. I, I hope to be able to raise my own kids to treat and care for people like Zane did. That if you love something and you truly enjoy doing it, people's negative opinions really don't matter. Thank you so much for sharing your passion and zest for life. Well, I think he led by example. He worked really hard. He always offered extra help. No talk. He was always do. He said what he meant and he meant what he said. Did things because it felt right to him. And people just naturally followed. 1,000% yes. Oh yeah, big fire. Enthusiastic, inclusive. <laughs> he was caring for everybody. He'd look around a room and make sure that everybody was loved and looked after. All those kind of characteristics made him someone to follow. It wasn't through ego, it was through kindness and compassion and caring and all those things that draw people in. How did it help to bring people together? And he did it with kindness, playfulness, empathy, and love. And I think that's what made Zane really special, is that you were able to hang out with them no matter who you were. Make you feel like you were his best friend, like straight off the bat. You just had something about him that connected with pretty much everyone almost instantly. I hope that everybody can find joy in every moment like he did. He really found his peace and his joy in the most magnificent places. On the ocean, on the lake, frozen lake in the mountains. It didn't matter if he had a class or something else booked, if it was perfect, he would disappear to the mountains to skate on one of those beautiful frozen lakes. He always wanted to try new things. He wanted to experience the world. The world was a place of play and interest for him. And at some point along the way, Zane was supporting me to be the best person I could be. I'm gonna do my best to live like Zane. To the best big brother out there, you were such an inspiration. I miss your undying enthusiasm, steady self-determination and motivation. You made the world a better place. I will miss you always. You will be with me forever and always. I love you. There are no words to describe how much you meant to me and how much I will miss you. May you continue to dance and sing in all the mountains. Sing Take Me Home Country Roads the top of your lungs. I miss you so much. I hope that you are skiing every mountain that there is. You're biking down every mountain that you are just shredding up, tearing up from water. And I love you so much. I love you, man. We'll be together forever no matter what. You'll always be by my side and I'm always by yours. I'll never forget that. I miss you, bud. I really do. Thank you for being who you are, and I'm just so grateful to get to call you a friend. Until we meet again. Oh, thank you for changing my life. Seriously changing my life. I wouldn't be the person I am today at all if it weren't for you being there. Rest in peace, man. I'm gonna you. For being you, man. Thanks for all the memories. I'm gonna miss you every day, man. There aren't words to express how much I'll miss you. I am so incredibly proud of the man that he became. Saying I love you and I'm gonna miss you every, every single day. And I just want to say I love you, Zayn. We love you. We miss you. I love you and I miss you very much. I love you, Zayn. I love you, Zayn. Bye. Stay well. I'll miss you else. I don't know if I said this, but I'm excited to see you on the other end.